Hi everyone, welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget. I'm George E. Harrison, and tonight we're in beautiful Ramsour, North Carolina. And you know, last week I showed you, you know, what size prints you might can expect from a Micro Four Thirds camera. Well, tonight we're going to go back five years to, to the Fuji HS50, which I'm now personally using, which has a half inch sensor, and we can see what kind of quality prints and the sharpness and detail, and for us also noise, because we're shooting everything at night, what we can get out of this size sensor. So let's get to it. For our first sharpness test, we're going to be doing the post office. My focus point will be the name, the United States Post Office. I'm going to focus in on the name. For a five-year-old, one-half inch sensor, the sharpness is not bad at all when you zoom in 100%. But yes, there is a noticeable amount of more noise than with the Micro Four Thirds sensor. This is the Ramsour Community Museum. Our focus point will be the sign above the clock that says Ramsour Community Museum. You can see right off, it's not quite as sharp, although it's not bad for a half inch sensor, but the, definitely there's more noise than with the Micro Four Thirds sensor. But overall, it's not too bad for a five-year-old sensor because you're not going to be looking at it this way. This is the way you will be looking at it. Our third shot is Jordan Memorial Methodist Church, and our focus point is the sign Jordan Memorial. A half inch sensor of five years ago is not as sharp or as noise free as a sensor of today. Still, it holds up pretty good. Our fourth and final shot will be the Main Street Hire Company. Our focus point will be the sign that says Main Street Hire Company. Yes, it's obvious by now. A five-year-old half-inch sensor cannot compete with a half-inch sensor today, and definitely maybe not a micro four-third sensor in the noise department. But sharpness, hey, it's still pretty good when even when zoomed in 100%. But again, you're not going to be zoomed in like this when you look at the picture on the wall. This is the way you're going to be looking at the picture. So if you have a, still have one of those old cameras and you think about upgrading, if it's in your budget, go ahead and upgrade. But if it's not quite in your budget, don't, you don't have to force yourself because these older cameras and these smaller sensors can still do an excellent job. Well, I hope you enjoyed the visit to Roundsville, North Carolina as much as I did. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the right-hand corner and hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. Same thing if you're watching this on Facebook. Hit the notification button so you can get my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And sometimes you might get some random ones other days during the week. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I will see you Friday.